dilating the femoral vein puncture site. Insert the dilator over the guide wire to dilate the femoral vein puncture site. Then remove the dilator. Inserting the balloon catheter into right atrium. Mount the balloon catheter on the guide wire. Stretch the balloon by advancing the inner tube and lock the paint of the inner tube in the slot of the Y piece. Now introduce the balloon catheter over the guide wire into the femoral vein and advance the balloon catheter into the right atrium. Pulling back the inner tube. Carefully unlock the inner tube from the Y piece and pull the inner tube back until resistance is felt. Advancing the balloon into the pulmonary trunk. Advance the balloon catheter over the guide wire through the pulmonary valve into the pulmonary trunk. Inflating the balloon. Confirm that the volume of diluted contrast in a syringe will inflate the balloon to the required diameter. With the distal portion of the balloon partially inflated, pull the catheter gently back against the pulmonary valve. Then inject the remaining diluted contrast medium rapidly to inflate the whole balloon. the valve. As soon as the balloon is fully expanded, the balloon should be deflated and be placed in pulmonary trunk. Caution! After each balloon inflation, the pressure in the pulmonary artery and the right ventricle should be measured and echocardiography should be performed. If the pulmonary valve is not dilated sufficiently, the balloon diameter can be increased by injecting more diluted contrast from the syringe, and the procedure may be repeated. Extracting the balloon catheter. First, pull the balloon catheter back over the guide wire back into right atrium. Push the inner tube forward and lock it in a slot. Then pull the stretched balloon catheter back into the inferior vena cava 